How's it going everyone? This is Mr. Morales. Today we're going to look at JavaScript arrays and if you go to w3schools.com and search for JavaScript arrays there is a lot of great information that talks about or that shows um, all the different things you can do with an array including what an array is uh, and all the different methods. So I suggest to you look at arrays before you do the project and because today's project is just taking a small little portion of what we do with arrays. So let's take a look at today's project. So today's project uh, there is no input boxes as you can see. Instead what we're going to be doing is we will be entering numbers. Uh, we will be entering many numbers and this program will put all of those numbers in an array. It'll add the numbers and then it'll find the average. Well, first of all, let me explain what an array is. So an array is a data structure that can store a fixed size collection of elements. Uh, the elements can be strings or numbers. So let's take a look at the program. I click on enter number and please enter a score. So it's going to collect score, scores or numbers. So I'm just going to put 10, click OK, and then it's asked, would you like to add another number or another score? I say yes. OK, and let's add another one. Let's put 20. OK, and now let's go no, I don't want any more numbers. So once I do that, then my output is, it shows me the numbers entered, 10 and 20. It shows me how many numbers I entered, and then it shows me the average score, okay, which is in this case is 15. So let's create, and I can clear it, so let's create this program. Let's go to the code. So several things here already look familiar to you. We have a couple of functions. One of them already clears the text. We, we don't need to worry about that. Um, all the other HTML elements have been done for you. So let's create, let's add on to the controller function. And we're going to add a bunch of variables. We'll add a result variable. That one will be used. Um, for, well, for our result, when we output our result. We're also going to create a output variable. We will use that for when we um, store our arrays. And I'll explain what all of these variables will be for. Um, let's do Okay, so I'm going to create a, um, an array called scores. So whenever you create an array, you need to put these brackets. So you're letting JavaScript know that, hey, you know what, this is an array structure. It's not just a simple variable um, that can hold one value, but it's a variable that can hold many values. And we will see how that works. Uh, let's do... Um, average and let's do uh, sum. You know I want to include some initial values just to make sure that JavaScript knows we want certain items to be of a certain type. So um, average and sum are numbers, so I'm initiali initiali initializing to the number 0. Output will be a string, so we are just putting double quotation marks. Okay, and so now what we're going to be doing is we will create the prompt, you know, the the when it uh, the pro the part of the program that prompts the user to enter a score. So in order to do that, 
I like using a while loop and I'm gonna say here while repeat remember repeat is just a variable at right now so while repeat is not equal to and in quotation marks I'm gonna put n so as long as the user is not typing the letter n then it's gonna do it's gonna do this it's gonna use uh, the array which is scores and it's gonna use a method which you can read about in at w3schools.com but that method is called push and pretty much push what push means is um, add an element to the array so we're prompting the user to uh, please enter a score alright so we're prompting the user to enter the score and whatever the, the user enters will be saved will be added using the push method into the array called scores okay now I'm gonna press enter and uh, I'm gonna repeat I'm gonna use repeat and I'll add another prompt that says would you like to add another score yes no okay so uh, once if the person uh, so this this uh, prompt is expecting a Y or an N and just for simplicity purposes I mean that's all we're gonna have um, Y and N so if if it's not um, so if the user enters a Y or actually anything other than N then it'll continue uh, prompting the user to enter a score. Once the user puts the letter N then it'll stop and it'll move on to the next uh, line of code and so the next line of code will be what we're gonna do is I'm gonna create a for loop and so these are this is very popular creating a for loop and arrays uh, is very popular um, actually I should say when working with arrays most likely you will you be using a for loop and what and let me just type this in here and let me explain what we're gonna do here So in this for loop, what we're gonna do is, I want to. So in this, in this, in the while loop, we we created our uh, or we have our um, all the scores added into the the scores array. Now in this one, now in the for loop, what we want to do is uh, be able to use those scores and present them in a nice manner. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use output which is a string and I'm going to I'm basically appending whenever you see the plus equal sign that means you're appending several items together you just keep on attaching items to the same string so in this case I'm appending all the different items and uh, all the different elements in my array 
So let me explain this this line of code because it's pretty interesting the way uh, we create this. All right, so let me save my work here. Okay, so what's going on is I'm creating a loop. Um, I'm initializing the control uh, variable to zero. So uh, for every time that the control variable, which is con zero, uh, is less than the scores dot length. So this is another method that returns uh, the number of elements in your array. So as long as you know zero, uh, the uh, control variable i is less than the number of elements, it's going to continue to do whatever's inside the um, squiggly lines here. And uh, if, uh, you guys know what this is already. We are uh, increasing the um, control variable. Without this, you have an, an infinite loop. Okay, so now this next line of code, line 20, what we're doing is we're looking at, and actually this is a good time to talk about this because whenever you see an equal sign here or equal plus sign, I always like to look at the right hand side of this and kind of decipher this first and then kind of bring it back to whatever um, a variable or element I have there. So in this case, let's take a look at scores. So sco uh, uh, let's take a look at this. So it says scores i. So what this means is we're extracting uh, uh, the first element of the array scores and as you can see i is zero so the address of the first element of an array is zero okay so now we can use you know zero okay and add it to the break now we're adding a break okay and then now we are bringing it back to uh, um, uh, appending it to the output string and we're continuing to do that until we do that for all the elements. Notice that we're having a break because each line will include a, you know each element. I don't want all the elements to be squished together in one line. All right, And you guys can, can experiment with all, any of these lines of code and I really urge you to do that. So the next line what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do um, sum plus equals and I'm going to parse the float alright okay so in this line of code what I'm doing is I'm looking at scores I the first, uh, uh, you know, each element, I'm parsing it so that it's a number, and then I'm doing the same thing. I'm appending it, or I'm adding it actually. In this case, I'm adding it. Okay, that's what the plus equals is doing. Um, another way of looking at this line of code, or anytime you see this plus equals, here, another way of writing the same thing would be sum equals sum plus. And here I'm just going to copy this. Okay. That's another way of writing the same thing. So basically what you're doing is you're you're capturing whatever whatever you have, whatever value you have in sum, and then you're adding the element in the scores array, and then you're adding it back to sum. So you keep on looping that so it keeps on accumulating all the different elements in the array okay now let's do some math so I want to take the average of the scores so what I'm doing here is I have some the sum of all the scores and I'm dividing that by the length or the amount of elements that are in there and I am uh, 
saving that into a variable called average. Press enter. Okay, so I think this part you guys kind of know. Result equals okay numbers entered. So here's where I'm going to prepare. So this result um, variable. Uh, I am I'm just preparing my output really what I, is what I'm doing with this so output plus uh, you have um, let's see so numbers entered and then it'll give the numbers that were entered and then you have how many how many um, you have scores dot length. You have this amount of numbers is pretty much what I'm saying. Okay. All right, let's do that here and Oh, actually, let's go like this here. Okay. Your average score is and let's put average there. Okay. And then the last line of code that we'll type is you document get element by ID message inner HTML equals result semicolon. Okay, so there you have it. We are in res. Uh, line 25 we're just kind of setting up our result and here we're displaying and line 26 we're displaying our result so let's save it and let's see what happens okay I'll refresh so enter number Okay, let's find let's find out what what's wrong here. Okay, I think I figured out the mistake. We forgot when we create an array, we need to have the name of the array equals and then the brackets. So let's save that and let's see if it works here. Refresh. Okay, there we go. So let's type in 10. Okay, would you like to add another score? No. Or actually, yes. But yes. Let's add 20. And now let's put no. Okay, great. It works. So let's find out. Numbers entered 10 and 20. You have two numbers. Your average score is 15. Okay. Okay. So there you have it. That's playing around with arrays. Um, also, make sure to look at that W3 schools uh, on arrays. I want you to look at, look at that over and so you can get some practice. Play around with that web with that website uh, and play around with the arrays. Okay. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.